Mrs. Hashemi, can you give me a statistical overview of the Muslim community in the United States? I mean, numbers, bits and pieces of information, and in general, the difficulties and hardships that, that they are facing in their everyday lives. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I don't have the actual statistics with me this morning, uh, but I can give you an overall view of the situation. Um, and as a matter of fact, we don't have accurate statistics to begin with because the census there, um, uh, it's not in the government's uh, benefit to actually give the real figures because the uh, the speed of which the Islamic community is growing in the United States is unbelievable. It's intimidating for them, right? Well, it, yeah, it's, it's not, not very good for them. Uh, um, and after 9-11, it's grown uh, exponentially, uh, so much faster than it had prior to that. Um, so because it kind of goes against the agenda, the agenda that is being carried out to uh, destroy uh, Islam and to basically paint a negative picture about Muslims so it does not fit in their agenda. With that being said, that we know on the ground um, as far as the number of uh, masjids, the number of mosques that have grown, um, the number of women who are in hijab uh, that we see on the streets, whereas 20 years ago, depending on the city, um, you definitely didn't see as many. So. Okay, because you, you referred to this point, I'm going to uh, somehow ask this question sooner. Uh, I'm going to ask you about the proportion of female to male converts to Islam in the uh, United States and generally in the Western countries in Europe. Uh, uh, statistics show that uh, female converts, the number of female converts to Islam is much higher than men. And can you explain about this? And why is it, what is this element in Islam that attracts women? Well, because it's the females that really have been the most oppressed. And in general, Islam is a religion um, that first and foremost attract, attract those who are oppressed. Contrary to popular information that they try to portray uh, Muslim women as oppressed, it's the opposite. I mean, if we look at the situation for Western women, um, the statistics for um, rapes, the statistics for um, all type of attacks, um, and then we look at the situation where really women are not treated equally in the society. We can see uh, formal statistics that talk about um, the disparity uh, in the amount of money that is made a female uh, compared to a male. So uh, despite the slogans about equality, it's definitely anything but equal. And always the, uh, the pressure um, is on the female. So when Islam offers them a whole new definition of humanity, a whole new definition of what it means to be a female that had been defined in terms of uh, physical beauty or attraction, that their worth is that much, but Islam says something else that, as a matter of fact, that's not important. What is important is who you are as a person, your personality, um, who you are here, how you think. It raises the level of humanity, and so that's quite attractive to women.